Hey, this is Coach Juliet, and we're going to do a little grocery store tour today. I'm going to teach you exactly how you navigate your way through the store so that you're going to be getting healthier just by the way that you're shopping. It's really important. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the place where most of your food is going to come from, which is the produce section, the fresh, healthy, natural choices. So lots of greens, lots of fruits, lots of other kinds of vegetables. This is where you want to spend most of your time when you're picking up your groceries. Make sure you're shopping the outside aisles where all of the fresh ingredients are, where all the dairy products are, the eggs. This is where you want to start whenever you're grocery shopping. Don't go into the aisles until you've done the whole perimeter of the store first. Now I love pumpkin pie, but it's not Thanksgiving, and I'm sure it's not a special occasion every time you go buy the baked goods. So unless it is some special occasion like that, try and not tempt yourself. Don't look at it, don't smell it. You're bringing yourself closer to actually eating it by doing that. So just avoid those sections, just walk on by. Depending on your supermarket, you might have aisles and aisles of processed, dry, packaged goods. And you want to try and avoid these aisles as much as possible, but sometimes you do need to go in there to grab foods that are going to help you cook your fresher foods, like certain spices and certain dressings and things like that. And that's okay, but try not to get pulled in by all the fun, exciting packaged food or the things that are really fast and easy to make. Try cooking some fast and easy things at home and use these ingredients to help you, but try not to go for just the fast stuff. More aisles, more snacks, lots of things that we do not need but are tempting. There can be aisles and aisles of frozen entrees. Just walk on by, don't even look. You're learning to cook fresh, healthy, fast meals. You don't want to need to microwave anything that's already prepackaged for you. One of the key things I think to having success with any new nutrition program that you're doing is really understanding what and why you're putting something in your body and really becoming a pioneer in your own nutritional health. And the way you're going to do this is by making sure you know exactly what ingredients are in things and what's going into your body. So I'm going to teach you how to read a label, exactly what to look for. This is really going to help you to get clear on what you're putting in your body. So where do we begin when we're looking at a food label? I know it can be tempting to look at those calories and the fat grams and how much sugar is in something, but what you want to start with first is you want to look at the ingredients and you want to make sure that you agree with everything you're about to put in your body, that they're all whole, natural, healthy ingredients. So you should be able to recognize everything on the label, there's no artificial additives, any chemical preservatives in there, and then once you've deemed this a healthy food, then you can start to look at the other things that are on the label. All right, so the next thing you're going to look at is how many calories are in this, and also really look at the serving size. So this says that you know, four of these fish sticks contain 190 calories, and then it tells you how many servings per container. So this can trick you up if you're not paying attention to it. Don't just assume that the whole box of something is that amount of calories. Sometimes there's a ton of servings in something, and it only takes a little bit to get you into a high calorie range. The next thing you want to look at is I'm always going to look at how much sugar am I putting in my body, because we know that sugar can really affect your fat loss, can really affect balancing out hormones, so this is something you want to look at next. And then where are you getting those sugars from? It's, if it's a more natural sugar like fruit, then maybe it's okay to be on the higher side, but if it's something like refined white sugar, then we want to definitely make sure we're going on the lower end of the sugar spectrum. And then from there, the sodium is another really important thing to look at. Try and create a sodium level that's of equal or lesser value to the amount of calories. So this is a little bit on the high side, it's 240 milligrams for 190 calories. So I'd like that to be a little bit less, and then from there you can look at the rest of the ingredients.